Hey everybody, uh, welcome to Destiny 2 and the series I'm going to call Destiny for Dummies. Uh, until I come up with something more clever to call it, this is what we're calling it. The initial thought of this was, how can I explain Destiny 2 to people that have never played a game like Destiny 2? And trying to convince people to come play this, because... It's a game I thoroughly enjoy, and other people I've got into the game have enjoyed it as much as or more than I do. Um, so I decided that, hey, why not? Let's just make a whole series based on trying to explain this game in the very broadest that I can. So, uh, as you can see here, I've got two characters already. I've got my uh, Warlock and my Titan, which I will explain those in just a minute. So, class. So, the game is split into a three-class system for your characters. Like, with the three character slots, you can have three of the same character. I don't know why you'd want that, but you could. Or you could have one slot for each class of characters, which I did for the longest time, but for the sake of this video, I figured it'd be easiest just to not use hunters, because, well, I don't play my hunter as much as I did the others. So, uh, we're going to start from left to right here, and we're going to go with Titans. So, Titans, as the description says, can be very aggressive and defensive at the same time. So, uh, Titans have skills and abilities that can either increase um, increase more of your defenses and for, for your team, or more of a damaging aspect, trying to kill as many enemies as possible with the amount of time that you've got with your... Uh, supers um we've got hunters which are very fast hunters are known for being fast and getting in and doing a lot of damage they're more of the stealthy class of the three um which some of the classes in the hunter class the subclasses uh emphasize more on the stealthy side and then other ones are just straight yeehaw let's go shoot a bunch of shots and kill a lot of things um hunters are probably the most notorious for being really good in pvp because they have certain abilities that help them with that but for the purposes of the initial segment of this series we're gonna go with warlocks my personal favorite of the three classes even though i'm just a little biased um we're going to go with that because I feel like I can explain the game in the most detail I can using the Warlock because, well, that's one I play all the time. And, um, you know, with the description here, weaponizing the mysteries of the universe to sustain themselves and devastate their foes, well, hunters have a lot of control aspects to their classes, being able to support your team and to be able to kind of keep people off of them and things like that. Uh, so we're going to call... Good old Warlock Space Wizards, because that's about the only thing that I've come to know them as funny. Alright, so, now we're getting down to the customization of your character, which will only be used in two sections in this entire game, pretty much. So, whenever you're in the social space called the Tower, uh, you can take off your helmet and just, you know, show your character's head off and stuff like that. And in certain cutscenes of the game, um, you'll be able to show your face in those kind of areas. But these three are kind of important because there's many characters that mainly fall in the human category and some in the Awoken, and there's some really important ones in the Exo. Story-wise, that will be a whole totally different aspect of this series because, man, it is, it is very deep. So, uh... For this, we're going to go with, uh, we're just going to go with, a, uh, yeah, we'll go with the male, we'll go with an XO. XO are really cool. They uh, basically humanize robots. Yeah, self-aware machine, war machine built for a long time struggle, long forgotten struggle. Um, XOs are pretty cool, and you can kind of customize them pretty neat, so we'll go with that. Then you've got different face options, which you can kind of see here. It's just kind of which ones you like the best. We're going to go with... Hmm. We'll go with this one. I kind of like that. And skin color is mainly just the uh, the color of the metal for this. 
which there's different uh, patterns and stuff for some of these, which is kind of cool. I never really realized that after playing this game for so long. You know, I, I literally always find new stuff in this game. So then you've got uh, your head features, which are just kind of what your head looks like. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory for what that's worth. These would be basically the hair for the XO. Yeah. We'll go with this one. I kind of like that. And we'll do it... We'll do that one. That looks, that looks pretty good with that. Marking, we'll give a... For the sake of this, we'll do that. And we'll do... We'll do black, because that kind of blends in. Alright, so there. Boom. We have made a character. So... Uh, I will go into this after we kind of get through this. And there you go. There's the opening cutscene. I didn't want to talk to him that, which I will keep all the cutscenes in, but put little timestamps in between. We called it the Traveler, and its arrival changed us forever. Great cities were built on Mars and Venus. Mercury became a garden world. Human lifespan tripled. It was a time of miracles. We stared out at the galaxy and knew that it was our destiny to walk in the light of other stars. But the Traveler had an enemy. A darkness which had hunted it for eons across the black gulfs of space. Centuries after our golden age began, this darkness found us. And that was the end of everything. But it was also a beginning. 